these six things i'm going to be listing in this particular video usually alters the vaginal ph and if the vaginal ph is altered you are likely going to be having recurrent vaginal infection and also you're going to be experiencing vaginal dryness and when there is vaginal dryness you might be experiencing pain during sex good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room my name is messi mary popularly known as a nurse with a difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today we are going to be talking about vaginal ph yes what is vaginal ph what is ph what alters the ph of the vagina and how you can prevent altering the vaginal ph so the first question is what is this ph that we keep hearing about what is ph what is ph the first time i heard about ph was in my chemistry class in secondary school yes that was where i had a better understanding of ph and from what my chemistry teacher told me in secondary school is that when you hear ph it simply means that the ph scale measures how acidic or or how alkaline something is everything in our body is either acidic or alkaline so it is this ph scale that measure how acidic something is or how alkaline so looking at the screen this is a ph scale we're talking about numbers from 1 to 14 that is how the ph is measured from 1 to 14. from 1 to 6.9 before it gets to 7 is acidic okay so any number that falls between 1 to 6.9 we say it's acidic that is when you hear highly acidic, slightly acidic, mildly acidic, or something like that. But you see that number seven, number seven is neutralized, like water, is neither acidic or alkaline. Okay, so from one to before seven is acidic. After seven is alkaline. Okay, so when you talk about the pH scale, we're talking about acidic or alkalinity. So now, what is the normal pH of the vagina? So the normal pH of the vagina is between 3.8 to 5.0. So you see that figure, 3.8 to 5.0 is the normal pH of the vagina. So if you alter this pH of the vagina at all, it is likely going to cause inching and it is not good for the vagina. So it is better for you to leave the pH of the vagina the way it is. The pH of the vagina is moderately acidic. It is not too acidic and it is not alkaline. So it's between 3.8 to 5.0. In the vagina, there is a bacteria known as lactobacilli. Yes, this lactobacilli secrete acid. They secrete hydrogen peroxide and lactic acid. So these two acids that is secret is what helps to make the vagina acidic. It must help to protect the vagina. So if you alter the vaginal pH, you might be experiencing inching. You might be experiencing some kind of vaginal infection that I know you don't want. So the next question is, what causes this alteration in the vaginal pH? The first one is bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis causes an alteration in the vaginal pH. Then the second one that will shock you is your meses. Yes, your blood, the period blood that comes out, actually alter the vaginal pH. You know the period is alkaline. The period that your blood generally is alkaline is not acidic. So alkaline is dropping in the acidic nature of the vagina. That can cause alteration of the vaginal pH. That's the second one. Then the third one that will also shock you is semen. Yes, semen is alkaline. So when you have sex and semen tends to drop on the vagina, there's a mixture of that semen and the normal acidic nature of the vagina. It can cause an imbalance in the vaginal pH. So semen is likely going to cause an imbalance in your vaginal pH. Then the fourth thing is menopause. Yes, menopause causes an imbalance in the vaginal pH. Because when a woman is getting to menopause or is in a menopause, there is a decrease in estrogen. And when there is a decrease in estrogen, that affects the pH of the vagina. It makes the pH of the vagina 
more alkaline, unlike the moderately acidic. So menopause affects the pH of the vagina. Then the fifth one I want to share with you is douching or douching. I don't know how you pronounce it. Douching, douching, or whatever you call it. So it's more or less like you are washing the vagina. So people take their time to use soap, to use chemicals to wash their vagina, all in the name of cleaning the vagina. So when you are using those things outside to wash the vagina, that can alter the normal vaginal pH. So if you don't know, I believe now you know. Then the sixth point I would like to share with you is taking antibiotics. Yes. You see those people that take antibiotics, anything, whether it's vaginal trash or whether it's this, whether it's that, the next point of call is antibiotics. Antibiotics can alter the vaginal pH. You know, like I will always tell you that you have the good bacteria in the vagina and you have the bad bacteria in the vagina. So if you take antibiotics, yes, it might kill the good bacteria. And when you are killing the good bacteria, it might not be able to produce that acid that the vagina needs. Okay, so taking um, antibiotics, abusing antibiotics can lead to an imbalance in the vaginal pH. And I also want to let you know that an alteration in the vaginal pH can increase your risk of getting urinary tract infection. So put that at the back of your mind when it comes to um, when it comes to the vaginal pH. Then the next thing I would like to tackle before I end this video is how do I prevent altering the vaginal pH? One thing is don't abuse antibiotics. Don't abuse antibiotics because it will get to a time that you will keep treating infection, 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 and it's not going to work because your body is resistant to the antibiotics and you have killed some bacteria down there. So don't abuse antibiotics. Avoid douching. Avoid putting soap, chemicals there. Okay, so these are also things you should take note of. Then another thing is changing your tampons regularly is going to help using the barrier method during sex because those semen, when they drop on the vagina, they are likely, they might alter the vaginal pH, especially if you are so lazy to wash up after sex. So using barrier method is likely going to help. Then avoid scented feminine hygiene wash. That is also going to help. So these are the things I said you should take note of as a lady and I hope it is beneficial and I hope you have a better understanding of what the vaginal pH is all about. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Messi Louis saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.